The goal of this video is to create a rusted metal material in Blender and then export that out of Blender into Unity to use in games. So to start out in Blender with the standard basic cube, I'm going to open up the shader editor and then name this material metal material or better yet rusted metal material. It's going to add a few nodes, first being a color ramp and connect that to the VSDF. And I'm going to add a Musgrave texture and this will control the actual rust on it and then the noise texture will connect the color of that to the scale of the Musgrave. Now the only other node I'm going to add here is a bump. That's going to take in the height from the color of the color ramp and then normal to normal. As you can see right now, it's starting to look like something, but not quite what I want this to be. So I'm going to change the color on the left side of the color ramp to be more of a gray material. I already have a hex value saved for that. And then I'm going to just slightly adjust the position towards the right. And then on the right color, I'm going to bring it in, have a position of 0.25, and then I have a rust color hex value that I saved from earlier. And now that's starting to look a little bit better. The only other thing I need to do is adjust the detail, maximum of both out on the noise in Musgrave, and then I'm actually going to adjust the scale on the noise texture. I adjust it to 18 and that's looking pretty good. So now what I wanna do is get this material into Unity. So I'm going to hit U, Smart UV Project. Actually, before I do that, if you go over to UV Editor, you can see that since it's a simple box, it's already UV projected, but I'm going to use Smart UV Project anyway for just the example. And then I'm going to create two new nodes. They're both going to be image textures. So I'll create one and then use Shift plus D to duplicate it. And these image textures aren't going to be connected to anything, but rather I'm going to name the first one uh, Rusted Metal Diffuse. And the second one will be Rusted Metal Normal. Now both of these images are going to, image textures are going to save the images from this material. So I'm going to go to Render Properties, change the engine from EV to Cycles, you can keep the device as CPU, but I'm changing it to GPU, changing the render value to 32 to match the viewport. Again, optional. I'm changing the bake from combined to diffuse, and then I'm going to uncheck direct and indirect lighting because I don't want that. I just want the color. So with the image texture selected, I'm actually going to change over to the image editor and click bake. And then you can see I actually have my rusted metal diffuse image there. So while this bakes, it will either look like a black square or this checkerboard pattern that you're seeing. And then once it's done baking, it will show the actual material on this image. I need to save this image because that's what you need to be putting into Unity. I'm gonna do the same exact thing for the normal, except change the bake type from diffuse to normal. There's no other adjustments needed. So with the, again, that image checker node selected, I'll hit bake. I can switch over to the rusted metal normal image. And again, it's still baking right now, so you don't see anything. And there's the normal values. And again, you wanna save that as well to make sure that you can get both of these images into Unity because we're basically going to recreate this material. So I'm going to export as an FBX this, uh, this box. Again, not totally necessary, but if you have a more complex object that you can't recreate in Unity, you wanna export it. I'm going to then drag that FBX file into Unity. 
So I'll drag it into uh, the prefabs folder. Let that load. And as you can see right now, it has no material on it. I'm actually going to scale it down to 10 by 10 by 10. And move it down onto the scene. So I'm going to create a new material. I'll just call it rusted metal material. And then I'm going to bring in both of those images that I saved from Blender. And then while selecting the rusted metal material, I'm going to drag the diffuse onto the albedo and the normal onto the normal. And then it says this texture is not marked as a normal map. You can click fix now and that'll change the texture type to normal map, which is what you want. So if I drag this onto the cube, you can see that it pretty much matches what we had in Blender. This can be used for more complex objects. Uh, you can also import things like the roughness or you can just change them like I am right now in Unity itself. So that's about it. There's a rusted metal material as well as how to get materials into Unity from Blender.